Hello, I'm Elias Zverev and I've been in OpenStreetMap for more than 10 years. And all this time I've been fascinated how OpenStreetMap is not just a map, but it's also a community. As I sometimes say, uh, when, if you erase the map, then OpenStreetMap community will restore it in just a couple months. But if you remove the community, then OpenStreetMap is dead. And with that, you might think that uh, people are like our most valuable asset. Like we should welcome everybody. We should acknowledge their work and generally try to make people feel welcome so that community grows and is very productive. And over years, I started to understand that people who stay in OpenStreetMap they stay not because, but despite. Not because they uh, help people, not because they uh, structure their knowledge of their cities, but despite being constantly offended, sometimes wrong, and seeing lots of errors, and generally not being satisfied with the project. And I feel like it's a bit of a weird because uh, for, to devote many years to some project, you must get some positive feelings out of it. And why that? So I think part of the issue is because of tech, uh, our channels of communications. I'm not talking about mailing lists or forums because only a tiny fraction of opposite map members participate in that. But imagine a new mapper who came to the project, uh, has been mapping for a week or a month, and suddenly he gets a message. And where does they get it? Uh, most likely in change set comments. And it won't be a message like welcome or you're doing a great job. No, usually it's you have done wrong. You mapped something correctly. Why do you do that? Go away. And the reason for that, I think, is that it is in the comments themselves. So on the website, they look like a box where you type words hit click, uh, hit send, and comment is off. And given the introverted nature of OpenStreetMap uh, contributors, you, you, one needs a uh, really good reason to type words. And uh, saying thank you is not a good enough reason. How do you find you even change that comments? You browse the map, you see uh, uh, something's mapped really great with all the buildings, all, all the amenities, and you don't do anything about it because it's great, it works. But if you find a mistake, then you look into it, you open data layer, you find the change set, and you ask a question. Why did you map this wrong? And most likely, this won't be the first question. And people grow impatient with each time. And uh, with time, these questions will become more and more harsh, alienating more and more contributors in the process. So, most of the times, this, this, this conversation is a bit one-sided. And that is not normal. normal. We have to find some other way to, of communication. And what can it be? So, a way of fixing that is communicating in person, coming face to face with the community. And that is basically what state of the map is for. You all come to the one place, you see each other, and you conversate. Because uh, at the conferences, listening to speakers is not the main part. Sadly, not in this one, but you know the idea. 
Uh, what is important is between the talks, you meet each other in halls, you uh, greet people you know, you acquaint people with you don't know, so that you see how they look, you listen how they speak, you attach uh, their profile to their words. And later, when you get back, when you see their messages on the internet, they're not just abstract words, they're attached to a voice and a looks of a person you know. Coming to the conference is a, a way to feel yourself as part of the community. Because normally all these people are very far away. But at the conference they're right behind you. Like you can come to anybody. You, uh, you already feel as part of the community. You, you don't have to type something, you don't have to come up with clever words, you have just to stand there. And you're in it, you're accepted. And this is powerful. We want to bring state of the map to everybody in the community, but it's impossible because only a few, a handful of people can afford spending a week away from their family can afford plane tickets and who know English so they can engage in conversations and that is very small amount of opposite map members like tiny fraction of percent so while it's great it doesn't solve a problem of opposite map communication what does what can solve it probably exchanging something physical. Like a major part of Opposite Map Awards are certificates. They are printed on a thick, fancy paper that has uh, and awarded to each nominee, each person who has been nominated for some awards. It has their name on it and a big number of Opposite Map members who voted for them. And that's not just a piece of paper. The certificate, it uh, validates them. It tells people that their work has been seen and uh, has been acknowledged by a very large number of opposite map contributors. They have made a change in OpenStreetMap and that matters. That should be a great feeling, and that's basically why I made Opposite Map Awards. But again, you cannot nominate everybody in the community. A fraction of people who has been nominated is even smaller than attendees of for state of the map. So again, how do we solve it? There's another thing. When I travel to conferences, occasionally I write to my Telegram channel asking people to uh, send their postal addresses and later I go to post, post office I bring some postcards and I write, write their addresses and some words uh, on postcards like greetings from Aizuba Kamatsu or hello from prison Kosovo I prepare the postcards and send them all over the world and when people get these postcards, they get not only the words, it's completely unlike receiving an email. Because postcard is something physical. It brings not only words, it brings emotion, it brings a sign of work. Like there, there is handwriting, there is choice of pictures, uh, there are maybe stickers. So this is like receiving a gift. And sending postcards is even twice the joy. Because uh, it's like sending, preparing a gift that you know will be appreciated. Like you must know the feeling. Like you don't have to uh, choose knowing that people won't like. People, everybody likes receiving postcards. So you know that your work is appreciated and you can go 
allowed. You can uh, write everything you want from simple hello or privet or hola to explain, uh, express your feelings about the conference to writing anything to researching who are you sending the postcard to and giving them some encouraging words and uh, you can do virtually anything with postcard uh, first time i was sending i i think a bit overdid it with choosing an envelope and bringing some more stickers and so on so on so sending postcards is a joy and this act of exchanging a card it i believe it connects people because uh, two people feel positive emotions over the same piece of paper and it is amazing and what i want is to bring this joy to basically everyone to use postcard as a means of connecting the opposite map community globally and that is what i made the website osm cards so osmcards.org you just open the osmcard.org and sign in using your OpenStreetMap account and then a very simple registration you just type your name and address and that's all everything you need after that you'll see just one button send a postcard when you click it you get a name and address of a different member of OpenStreetMap community and you know that he's from OpenStreetMap after that it's time to send the postcards sending postcards is easy you just go to the post office and find the postcard like this one uh, postcards you don't even have to buy a postcard postcard can be any, any piece of thick paper uh, you can what makes postcard a postcard are two things the stamp and an address and you can draw anything you can uh, stick any stickers on it you can even stick dry flowers and stuff as long as it has a stamp and address it will be delivered so then you write an address and the website will give you some number that you put on a postcard this is just for registering your postcard in the system uh, and you write some words like greetings from Wakanda stamps are really important that's why first time you should go to the post office uh, and you should ask a person there which stamps should I use to send postcards to any country like Australia, South America, the like United States and you get your answers and do buy lots of stamps you will need them to send postcards all over the world and then it's pretty straightforward you just uh, take one stamp glue it on the postcard and put it into a post box i don't know where post box are here i just use <laughs> in this post office and that's all postcard sent somebody will receive it in a week or two and they will be very very happy everyone should do this you should go to osmcars.org and register and do that now there's another thing well, how do you send me a postcard it's simple open my osm profile and there will be a link send me or request a postcard and when you click it there will be two buttons not one but two one for sending of course you'll get my address and you can send me a postcard another one for requesting a postcard 
and that should be powerful it's because it makes it two-way communication you not only send you also receive from people you want to send your postcards like you can possibly in far future you can find profile of steve richard i don't know frederick uh, mateus mine profile you can request postcards and they will send postcards to you acknowledging that you are part of the community you will receive these postcards and that would be like physical proof that yes you belong to OpenStreetMap. there are people who validated you as community members they did not uh, write you harsh words and change set comments like why do you map please stop no instead they spend their emotion to make yourself feel welcome to make yourself feel like there is a whole world of people in OpenStreetMap who not only do their own thing but they also think about others think about you and that is what matters and what is I'm hoping to achieve with my osmcars.org so you might have some questions like privacy am I not just building a database of postal addresses of every member of OpenStreetMap and yes basically I do but I'm also taking all the measures to uh, be sure that that database is well protected it will be set up on a dedicated server with constantly updated Linux that will have no means of breaking into it and you will have all the access all the control on your private private data you can just edit out your address you can delete your account at any time you control who sees your address who gets it when they click send the postcard button you can choose your address to be shown only to people who have sent postcards already or to community members that have made at least 20 change sets and so on and so on you can uh, request that you give permission specifically for each request and of course you control who can request postcard from you that's that's a given so yeah uh, privacy is really important when it deals with your home addresses and you don't even have to disclose your OpenStreetMap username on the OSM cars website in there you just all uh, regular people who are connected by only one thing by OpenStreetMap community and this website is just for you now another question that may get is haven't this been done already like there's this uh, post crossing website which is basically the same you register on it you get a random address and you send a postcard there well yeah I registered post crossing sent a couple postcards and it feels like yeah this is a community of people who like sending postcard, postcards to random addresses and it has one major drawback it is not about OpenStreetMap the same card is and the second one is that it's just one-way communication and in OpenStreetMap uh, SM cards you can not only send but also request postcards and sometimes it's more important to be welcome in the community you have to ask and be given and this should work great for community like remember amateur radio stations like there are people all across the world with amateur radio and they have, were talking to similar amateurs from across the globe like from very distant countries and after they talked they uh, sent a postcard every de uh, design for every station was different but basically they took a postcard they wrote uh, date and time of communication uh, other numbers and they sent it and they got one in return and after a time uh, these postcards grew in numbers they got a, like a whole stack of postcards and that stack was something that validated their participation in the amateur radio 
uh, community. They had some badges, I believe, for 50 or 100 postcards and so on. And what I want with OSM cards is to do the same for OpenStreetMap community. To not just give you one postcard, but to have you all uh, collect many postcards from people you know, people you don't know, who, people from, who are part of OpenStreetMap community. And that is uh, what uh, gives, should give you a feeling of being part of OpenStreetMap community. It's not just a technical things like having drawn a map, having posted to mailing list, but also the physical, like tangible thing that you can put in your shelf, that you can peruse, you can watch these postcards and remember uh, conditions where, that you received them. These postcards make you feel like you are, you have been in the OpenStreetMap community. And that is also what's important that you give uh, some, some tokens of validation, not just angry change set comments. So that's what I want, what I want of you. So you register osmcars.org and you send somebody a postcard and you request a postcard. I am really happy to send you a postcard. So strengthen your community, connect with other people, not just writing comments, but face to face by giving them something tangible. And well, send me a postcard. I will send you one in return. So see you hopefully at the next conference face to face. And thank you for listening. Bye.